Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Outputs Router tab, which is up here. And then we're going to, under the Mixes, you're going to select Mix 1. So you go right here under the Mixes, and under this first little pair, select Mix 1, then over here, go Mix 2, then over here, Mix 3, then over here, Mix 4. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to assign the main knob to Mix 1. So right here underneath Main Assign, you click on the main, you click, and then you double click to drop it right underneath Mix 1. Okay. Same thing with the phones, we're going to drag that to Mix 2. So you click Phones 1, you're going to drag over here right underneath Mix 2, double click, it's going to drop it on there. Okay. So now, when you go to your mixer tab you'll see this first this first mix is already assigned to one and two the second tab is assigned to three and four third tab assigned to five and six and fourth tab is assigned to seven and eight okay this first tab mix one is going to be your control room mix and this is what you're hearing in the control room so Anything you do here is only going to affect what's coming out of the main speakers, okay? This next tab, 3 and 4, is going to be what's coming out of outputs 3 and 4 on the back of the Fire Studio, but also it's going to be what's coming out of the front panel headphone jack. So you can have a totally separate mix on this. Uh, if you want to start with the control room mix and copy it over to any of the other mixes as a starting point, you can do that very easily. You just go over here to this corner right here, you hit copy, and then you're going to grab any of the other mixes and hit paste. And it's going to copy that mix over. And it'll give you a starting point, and then the musician will say, oh, I, I need a little bit more of this, a little bit less of this. And then you can change this right here any way you want. Okay. Um, and then the last thing um, to think about is the fact that um, you can also save this setup anywhere you want. So you can save it to your hard drive and then, uh, and then recall it later. Okay, man. Thanks.